Hi, this is Kim Meyer from Horsemanship Help. And today's topic is if some ways to help if you have got a um, confirmed pullback horse. Okay, I did a video about um, preparing your horse for the cross ties, um, and so that's good watch. But um, when you have created, either inadvertently created a pullback horse or acquired a pullback horse, um, you need to... Um, know how to help and some of the things that are very important before any horse gets cross tied is they need to be able to or tied up in general give to pressure and i have videos out about backing them up off of pressure um, head down off of pressure um, horses those are those are two good videos of things that your horse should be able to do before you actually tie them up anywhere so, but this video is about if you have a, a confirmed pullback horse, some things that might help you, okay? So, if you have a confirmed pullback horse, please, 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 please do not do this situation, okay? A lot of people say, well, if the horse breaks it, it's not going to hurt itself. Well, it might not hurt itself, but if you're at home by yourself and it does that, you are going to be in danger for a couple minutes. But if you're at a very busy barn and your horse pulls back and breaks this and is running up and down the aisleway of a busy barn with people and kids and other horses, it's very, very dangerous. So you do not want this. Or at a show, you don't want your horse running around the showgrounds um, causing other people to be in danger. Okay, so do not, please do not use this. Okay, this, um, the, the thought of it breaking. Now, here, if you have a somewhat um, of a pullback horse, like they're not like serious, like sit down. Like if a horse were serious, gonna sit down, not gonna back and tie up. I'd make sure you do those other giving to pressure things. But here we have, and I'm using my tie right here because the um, cross ties, um, the light is kind of make, would make the video hazy. So my ties and my cross ties are five feet or six feet high. You always tie up high. Here, the safety cross tie has like, you're probably familiar with your horse trailers. The safety snap, okay, that you can just pull on that and it gives, okay? So you've got that. And then it's got a little section of rubber where if your horse were to pull, it has a little give so your horse can um, feel it and not feel panicked and, and come off of it. So these are, these are pretty good. And I've had people say, well, should the safety snap be on the wall or the horse? Well, the, the horse is like freaking out. You To get right up there around legs and horse and maybe get your fingers caught in the halter, I didn't, I personally, some people might, but I do not keep it there. I keep it near the wall. Okay, but know that when a horse is panicking and you give this, this is going to go flying. Okay, either way, whichever end you take it from, it's going to go flying. Be aware of that. Okay, but these safety cross ties um, are, are pretty good. Okay, and then um, I had a, a lady um, that has a very confirmed pullback horse. Um, it, I mean, it's pretty serious about pulling back. Even with starting to work on giving to pressure, it's got some baggage. So I went and bought this thing called a blocker loop snap. I don't know what it is, but Google blocker, blocker snap. Okay. And you've got this little hook where you can attach it to your cross ties, your trailer, whatever you're tying to again, up high. And then it's got this little funky thing with a magnetic little thing that comes off. Okay, you want this to be back near the trailer, near the wall, on the back side of it. Okay, and with this, you have got to have the right size. Hang on a moment. I needed my lead rope. You have got to play around and find the right lead rope. Okay, so when you put this towards the wall, around the little tongue, and back, okay, Okay, see that? So, if I were to pull, see it's barely giving, okay? So, this nice safety blocker thing would be absolutely useless. 
So you've got to find the right um, di dimensions. The double diamond rope halters with the parachute lead um, has a great feel. And I don't know if this is 5 8 I'm not totally sure. Um, again, goes towards the wall, around the tongue, and back to you. And I've got to feed a bunch out. Okay, so there she be. There's the loose end I'm attached to the other end. If I pull now, see there is a slow drag, a slow drag. So your horse doesn't get the habit of pulling away, and by the time you get to the end, you're going to be there to kind of be helping your horse, okay? So, but you, you obviously can't start with it like that. That's not going to do you much good, okay? So this blocker situation is... um pretty cool. I've never used it for my guys. Um, when I do start taking my horses off the farm again and they're tied up to the trailer, I think I will bring this. My guys tie well. and um, But I'm as a safety concern, in case something did startle them while I wasn't there, that that would help. Um, but the best thing is, is do not set your horse up for failure. Set them up for success. Like when there's snow on the roof here, Nobody ties up. If I think the snow is going to slide off the roof and woo, make all sorts of noise, we don't tie up, okay? Um, everybody ties, um, tacks up in the um, indoor or outside, and everybody takes turns holding the other horse while you go get saddles. It's a pain, but my horses all tie up, okay? Um, we had the roof done on the house. Construction. Some of my horses didn't care. Okay, with the lesson kids, they could stand there and they're like, whatever. Some of them, though, um, with more advanced people, um, those horses were not tied up while the um, roof guys were here because there was too much going on. Okay, and there was a high probability because they're like, whoa, what's going on? That, um, that they could pull back. So the best thing is don't ever let them pull back. Okay, and if that means you have to hold them, then you have to hold them for the safety of others, okay? And if you're at a show and you have a really confirmed pullback and you don't have this, then in between classes, um, stick them back in the trailer, you know, if they're not safe. Um, so, this has been Kim Meyer with Horsemanship Help. And remember, I want you to um, stay safe. <laughs> I want you to succeed, and I want you to enjoy your horse. So, hope this helped. If you wanna see more videos like this, Hit the subscribe button. Thank you.